Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Benny Silver with my Rap of the Week, 23rd of January 2014. You are alright. Lord Renard has been cleared of any sexual misbehavings and he's taking legal action which may drain the Lib Dem savings. So now the media storm surrounding him has lessened in his ragings. This is a massive crisis for the party in the makings. Despite the various ladies who've been making a complaint, he would like to photoshop the picture of him that they paint. According to his friend Christopher, he showed appropriate restraint. This story smells of Robin Thicke, the lines are blurred and faint. On a more cheerful note, there are some things to really give us hope. Our economy is recovering, so we'll cope, and that is dope. Our recovery now is faster, so the monetary funder spoke. From 1.9 to 2.4%, if I may quote. The police department has been accused of financial wrongdoing, with 30 million in some secret banks beyond our viewing. This is an issue that the RSA have been reviewing, or just another step towards their reputation's ruin. Again, the police and thieves and others with a life of crime. The issue of the victim's rights is vital at this time. When previously the coppers dropped some charges, now they find the victims have the right to challenge this and change their mind. A Rolex worth a studio flat and a bracelet worth a job was stolen from a rich man in a Ferrari by some yob. Although it is accepted that the man was truly robbed, there isn't enough evidence right now for PC blood. Two teenagers fled boarding school, stole cards for a holiday by the pool in a Caribbean island dream, 116 and 117. The credit card they used was traced as they enjoyed expensive taste. The head was pleased they're still okay. Will they be expelled? I can't yet say. A webcam set up in South London caught a would-be thief with a camera that was put up to watch wild and feral beasts. This information was passed on to the local police, but are they spying on us or do they just allow us peace? Dying now is more expensive than it has been before, so people make sure you don't die, especially if you're poor. A funeral costs as much now as an average small car, so maybe soon you're not allowed to die unless you are a star. And people now live longer, but they don't put cash aside, which means a funeral is something they cannot provide. For Egyptian kings, a funeral was flash and they will fly. In England now, you can't afford to either live or die. Our most prestigious universities are not expanding, even though requirements for places have increased. The standards must remain maintained, the chairman is demanding, because their reputation is a thing they want for keeps. If they allow the students to have slightly poorer grades, the status as elites within the field will be in question. And this is something of a bugbear to them, they're afraid, that this will threaten deeply their delivery of education. The number of full-time students is increasing every year, but levels of intelligence may actually not be rising. And this occurring in a time when problems are severe, when even master's graduates have difficulty surviving. And that, my friends, was the wrap of the week. See you in seven days till then, just stay on the beat. Peace.